Here is a CKND news cap. Manitoba Premier Gary Philman got some much-needed moral support from Prime Minister Brian Mulroney today on the ticklish issue of the Meech Lake Constitutional Accord. Philman's minority Tory government has promised to deal with the Meech Lake document this fall. But the opposition Liberals say they'll vote against the accord, while the New Democrats say they'll decide, decide their stand after seeing the results of province-wide public hearings. After meeting with Philman this afternoon in Ottawa, Prime Minister Mulroney maintained he didn't want to interfere in the province's affairs. But he did note that federal leaders of both the Liberals and the New Democrats have strongly endorsed Meech Lake. The search continues today for an escaped convict from the Stony Mountain Institution just north of Winnipeg. 25-year-old Richard Todd Henry, who was serving a two-and-a-half-year sentence for robbery and assault, had been part of a painting crew wor working outside the prison walls. He apparently walked away unobserved by guards. He is described as being six-foot-three-inch native, weighing about 164 pounds and having black hair and brown eyes. He is considered dangerous. Manitoba Health Minister Don Orchard says home care services won't be affected by a possible strike by non-medical workers at Winnipeg St. Boniface Hospital. Orchard, responding today in the legislature to Sharon Carstairs, said the hospital has a contingency plan to make sure medical and other services won't be affected. Meanwhile, Labour Minister Ed Connery says progress is being made in the dispute. The 1,400 workers at the hospital are poised to go on strike at midnight on August the 8th to back demands for better wages, improved job security, and pensions. And in sports, after holding both light heavyweight and heavyweight title belts, Michael Spinks has decided to retire from boxing. Spinks, who got floored by Mike Tyson in last month's 91-second bout, says he went further than a lot of people expected during his career. And looking at the forecast for Thursday, mainly sunny with a chance of an afternoon or evening thunder shower. Winds from the south at 20 kilometers per hour and a high tomorrow of 33 degrees. I'm Donna Friesen. Good night.